Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he'd gotten was my attention. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors. Cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Pain to the max. You're killing me. Did you make that up yourselves or you get some wine up downstairs to come up with it? Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squat plan? But don't answer. It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he says bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. Lupino. My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. Charge of this one, unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see it through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up, or you're finito, finitos. A V deal meant added security, locked doors, and lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Sosa, a spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The Finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. Wait for them. We gotta go in now. Bosses, we're coming in. There he is. was locked and the elevator had been busted for a decade or more.
are lords and ladies. Lady Amelia, Marquis Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lawrence. My lady. My lord. And now, an all-new episode of Lords oh. and Ladies, brought to you in part by Acer Corporation. <laughs> My lord? My lady, there is a matter of great importance I must bring to your attention. My lord, there is? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! V-head junkies could go off without a warning. I had to be careful. Get away. Get away. Get away. You're gonna die. found Muerte's room. Muerte had received a letter. Our investigation had turned up nothing to link Angela Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. We need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. Sure. Nah, the Russian would dare. This has been waiting to happen. 
get him. No, wait, you go get him. You go and get him. The old service elevator rumbled down to the bowels of Jack Lupino's hotel. It was freaking crazy! The cops were doing a full-scale siege next door! I mean, bleeding.